Hi, Assalamualaikum. Today, we will discuss about barriers and challenges faced by students with disabilities. A study at one public university in Malaysia. My name is Ruslinda Alias. This is the four things that we will cover in this session. In becoming a developed country, Malaysia put emphasis on education and this could be seen from its Vision 2020, Transformasi National 50 or TN50 and its 11 Malaysia Plan 2016 to 2020. Everybody in Malaysia has equal opportunity in education, including persons with disability. And when we talk about equal opportunity and including everybody in the education, it is also known as inclusive education. When we talk about inclusive education in Malaysia, one of the significant events happened back two years ago is the introduction of zero reject policy in Malaysia in which all students including students with disabilities could not be denied entering formal education. However, nowadays currently in higher education in Malaysia, SWDs faced multiple challenges and barriers in education and if it is left unattended to this could impede the establishment of an inclusive environment in Malaysian universities. Thus, the main purpose of this study is to explore the experiences of SWDs in one of the Malaysian public universities, particularly looking at the barriers and challenges faced by them. This study utilizing a cross-sectional survey research method with purposive sampling method. The population of this study is all SWDs in the university which is up to the date it has 190 SWDs. And then for the sample, the questionnaire is distributed to those who voluntarily participated in this study which is 21 SWDs. For the procedure, the researchers contacted the University Disability Services Unit to get the SWC's information and after that, they contacted the SWD's via WhatsApp and then distributed the e questionnaire using the Microsoft 365 online form. And for the instrument, it is used a set of e questionnaires adapted from the GDN2 Disability Questionnaire by Healy et al. And it covered four areas of research including experiences in teaching and learning, experiences of field work, experiences of assessment, and experiences with the university staff. Now, let's look at the first finding of this research that is experiences in teaching and learning. The findings showed that more than half SWDs or disabled students reported they faced difficulties, the first one, during lectures, in on-campus laboratories, workshops, studios or practical work, and also in other on-campus classes such as tutorials and seminars. Besides, it is also found that 8 of SWDs face challenges in using university library and technical facilities, 6 of them facing troubles in using other university learning facilities, 5 of them face challenges that hinder them to access university facilities, and 3 of them reported that their disability affected their using of learning resources such as handouts and lecture notes. Now, let us look at the experiences of fieldwork and experiences with the university staff. According to the finding, 12 disabled students worried of their disabilities will affect their fieldwork experience and 6 of them faced difficulties in 
independent fieldwork such as researching for assignments or dissertation. For the university staff, uh, more than half of the disabled did not have any bad experiences with the university staff in which they claimed that the staff were helpful and supportive. However, this does not represent all the staff in the university. Involvement from all is crucial, whether it is via physical, intellectual, as well as social and emotional support so that it will promote the establishment of inclusive and conducive ambience in the university. For the experiences of assessment, the study showed that 10 of the SWDs faced difficulties in oral presentation, 8 of them in written examination, 7 of them in written coursework, 6 of them in multiple choice question, and 5 facing difficulty in other type of assessment. So, it is suggested that a flexible assessment could be utilized to support the needs of disabled in the university and when we do this it will also benefit for all students in the universities in Malaysia. From this study it is found that SWDs faced barriers and challenges in pursuing their study at the university including physical facilities and learning support and one of the causes of these barriers and challenges is lacking awareness among the community at the universities. So it is recommended that for the university authority to embed awareness programs in the university curriculum and one of it is via service learning. And it is proved that service learning could inculcate positive awareness among non-SWDs towards SWDs at the universities. And with that, thank you very much and see you in the next session. Bye!